be careful of every foolish vow. People make vow and pledges that put them into trouble in the heat of emotion. In the book of Judges, chapter 11, Jehoshaphat was going to war and he vowed that anything that comes out to meet him when he was, if he's, if he's coming back from the battle, that's what he's going to sacrifice to the Lord. Guess who came out? His only daughter. It was a, it was a rash vow. It was a foolish vow. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 14, Saul was going to war and he made a, he made a foolish oath that any of his army who tastes food will be killed. How can you send an army to war on empty, on empty, on empty stomach? Eventually, Jonathan tasted honey and he performed brilliantly in that battle. It was a foolish vow. Because in verse 44, 45 of that 1 Samuel 14, even the army of Saul prevented him from carrying out that vow, from killing Jonathan. In Genesis 25, Esau asked his brother Jacob to give him food because he was hungry and Jacob said, no, 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 I can't give you, just, just give me your birthright and seal it with an oath. Saul, I mean, Esau made an oath trading his birthright to Jacob. All of these instances are foolish vow. People still made foolish vow in church today. Please stop making vows that will put you into trouble. Let your yes be yes and your no be no, and that will be sufficient.